Hey everybody, it's the Rider Guider. I'm Neil. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, a couple of months ago I did a review on a digital tyre pressure monitoring system and it was a glowing review. I've had it two months. Let's see what I think of it now. So while I'm at it, riding home today, good evening, I'm going to do a quick follow up on my digital tyre pressure monitoring system. Because this morning, as I'm riding to work, my monitor starts flashing and it's telling me that my front tyre had lost a bit of pressure. I was down at about 26 and I want 30. Now it's cold, however, it's important to consider that the cold temperature should be 30 according to the manufacturer and being a stickler on my tyre pressures lunchtime came along and I decided to jump on the bike fuel up and while I was there went to the servo to make sure I had enough air in my tyres. Now I want 30 psi and I've considered I'd make sure I'll put 32 in in case I've got a slow puncher to make sure I get to stay there. Stay there. Has he, got, has he seen me? You see what well, she couldn't see me because of the pillar in her windscreen. That's what I was looking at there. Anyway back to it. So I go to the service station, plugs in their digital giver of air. You type in your 32 psi which is what I wanted to do it pumps it up. When it gets to 32, it bleeps. Now I didn't put my TPMS back on, because I take it on and off. I was only out for five minutes. So I've brought it back to work, run it half a mile, quarter of a mile, parked it up. Tonight I've got back in my gear, jumps on my bike, put my TPMS on. Front tyre, showing 45 PSI. So that one at the servo, saying 32, actually 45 PSI. If it's that inaccurate, that's appalling. When you've got a contact patch the size of the palm of your hand, you need them right. So my suggestion is don't trust the servo stations with their free or even if you pay for it in some countries free air for your tyres, don't trust the gauges get your own gauge, get a TPMS and be safe, simple as it's not worth trusting them when you're banked over on a bend and you think you've got the right PSI in your tyres you could just be 13 over like I am at the moment now I've got the option of course to pull over let a bit of air out but I'm not riding hard I'll do it in five minutes when I get home. But that's pretty appalling. I'm flashing 45 psi. And it's bleeping away. Can you hear that? You can see it. And that's why I like my digital tyre pressure monitoring system. Because it's telling me some truths. And I know it's true because I had it calibrated. I checked it, should I say, against a calibrated system. And it was accurate. So once again, I recommend getting a digital tyre pressure monitoring system and as you know mine's from Australian Direct I paid I think it's 72 or 77 dollars and it's brilliant it's this little thing here while I'm at it I might as well tell you a bit more about the uh, TPMS I did the review what, a couple of months ago when I first bought it or oh, was that a preview because I'd never really used it it was a review on the accuracy I'll tell you what, I love it. I've not charged it up since. Since I got it. And it still works perfectly. I love it. And you know what, it saved me from my anal twice a week tyre pressure checks. Sometimes three. Every time I went out on my bike I was like checking. Now, 
I just look at my gauge. I don't have to get my fingers dusty, mucky, from removing and refitting the dust caps and struggling past my spokes to get to the uh, to the valve. It's transformed my little routine, made it a lot easier.